some of you may notice that Skylum quite re-released their brand new app called Luminar Collage Photomaker. While the app is in early stages and there will definitely be changes, here is the first preview to see how it works and how you can use it. Starting from the beginning, the app is already available on the App Store and currently it's for free. Now you can get premium filters if you want to, however, most of the functionality, well pretty much all the functionality is there and you can use it for free. Now it's compatible with iPhone, iPad and Macs and all you need to do, well, jump to the App Store and download it now. And here we go into the application where after few welcoming screens, you end up on a login or creating your account page. So here we are, you can use a simple email or your Apple, Google, Gmail or Microsoft account. So depending on what you have, login and then we are going to continue. On the next screen, we are going to be choosing our photos for the actual collage. If you've been using Apple Photos, either on iPhone, on your tablet or on your Mac, you will be familiar with this view. You will see number of photos in the photos section as well as some of your collections. So we're just going to select few images, one, two, three, four, maybe five. And once happy with the selection, we're going to click on add. This is where we finally get into the actual application. Now the application has a three or four sections. The top toolbar where we can return back to the actual library of the photos of photo library. We can also undo and redo the step. We can access the settings and we can share the image. In the middle, we have the preview of the actual collage. Then we have some adjustment section and then we have a selection of four features. This is where we adjust the grid, so the different dividers and different number of the fields. On the next option, we are able to adjust the crop and ratio of the image. On the next option, we are able to select and adjust the background. You can choose solid color, you can choose gradient or texture or overlay. And additionally, as a premium add-on, you can also apply LUT with selection from some creative, portrait toning, cross-processing and also cinematic toning LUTs. How it works? Well, you just select one and then adjust and apply the amount. Well, anyway, back to the beginning. Let's go back to the initial view where we adjust our grid. Right now we have the five images. Now the grid itself come with option or number of options all the way from two photos. So you can see two photos here or actually one photo, two photos, different dividers, different sections, different sides. And then you go all the way to eight or nine. Let's have a look to nine images just like this one here. So we have selected five photos. If I select six, let's see somewhere around here, you can see that one of the field is empty. It's empty, but we can still add the image here. How are we going to do that? Well, we click on the little icon that will bring us back to the photo gallery. We can just select another image and add it. So this is how you select the different grid. Now, how do you adjust the actual images? Well, there are different ways you can do this. You can click on the actual image, which will open a new option here. You can rotate anti-clockwise or clockwise. You can flip horizontally or vertically, and you can also change the image from here. Finally, you can move the image around. You can also make it bigger or smaller with pinch, and you can rotate it by holding it with two fingers and move it either clockwise or anti-clockwise. Now, coming back, we can just slide this down and we're going to look at the settings here. So if we click on that, you will notice that we have a four sliders here. These will again adjust the actual grid, but a little bit different way than you think. The first slider adjusts the actual space of the edge between the grid of the photos and edge of the page. So you can go really crazy or you can completely remove it. Second slider does pretty much the same thing, but just adjusts the space inside of the grid. So as long as they are at the same position, so you can see the number on the screen, let's say 50 and 50, then the edge and the space between the actual grid will be exactly the same. Next two sliders, well, the third slider can actually round the corners of the images and the fourth slider adjusts the shadows. So 
initially you start without the shadow for each of the images but you can really push it and you get the shadows behind each of the image this way you can make the images stand out now if you're not happy with it you can switch it off by clicking on this little button here or bring it back reset it by double clicking on the sliders and continue from here again to close it just slide it down let's move to the second option where we have some presets when it comes to the shape and ratio of the image so instagram post instagram stories facebook post facebook cover a pinterest post and then some of the traditional or standard crops like one on one square two on three three on four four on five on nine on sixteen if you need you can also use this little icon to simply rotate it around so these are the crops now next is the option to adjust the background so as you've seen you can start with solid color now to adjust the color you just take this little joystick or controller and move it around maybe around green or red or blue or purple and so on if you bring it up it will just be white if you bring it down it will be black so that's the solid color then gradients there are a number of gradients here you can apply depending on what you want you just select them and apply them and then we have an option to apply some textures and different shapes some kind of funny shape we also have some textures like canvas lines and so on depending on your style depending on what you like this is how you select it so right from here and the fourth option is the premium option where you can apply some LUTs or filters again we have some LUTs or filters in a creative section things like candlelight um, Etroid, Genius, Grace, and so on. Maybe you have noticed similar filters in Luminar Neo or Luminar Mobile. Then we have also some portrait toning, cross-processing, and cinematic toning. If you select it, again, you just click on it or tap on it, you can then adjust the amount and you can see how it affects the image. To reset it, double tap on the actual wheel or simply switch off the filter by tapping on it again. If you have a filter selected and you like to export the image, with the use of the export window you will notice that it will not allow you to do that unless you subscribe so the app is free and you can export the images for free as long as you're not using the filters so when you switch off the filter and tap on export again you will notice that you will just be able to export the image this way finally let's quickly jump into the settings by tapping on the little circle with the three dots inside you will see an ad for the luminar mobile you can also adjust the account here you can sign out and sign in again and you can access the support privacy policy terms of use and about us